it's the end of the day. Well, it's not really, well, it's not, is it? It's just no, it's the not, yeah, it's, it might be for you. I'm on in a minute. I'm kind of, it's me and Cumbria JC. Yes. Fabulous. Yeah. I don't Everything know. Everything's so I, delicious here. I've fallen in love with White Haven. Do you know that? First time in Cumbria? Yes. Well, no. So you thought. <laughs> First time to Whitehaven, but I think I've probably been to Cumbria quite a lot because friends of mine used to live in the Lake District, so... So you will have. Oh, I will have been here. So you will have. Okay. <laughs> but it's not been so memorable, put it that way, as today has been. Uh, and I'm not just saying that. But it usually, and it usually rains, in fairness. So well, it, you see, I live in Wales now, so... So it's always raining. No, but it's not. So everyone goes, mm, yeah, but Wales... But, but everybody says that about Cumbria, so everybody assumes that, oh, oh we're not going to Cumbria, it rains. But of course, it's it doesn't. It's, it's, it's always like this. That's where you get that tan from, and that's where I've got. Yeah, well, although, although, right. although this this actually comes from a, uh, a sunbed in the uh, garage. No. Well, it's it's, it's, it's my partner, you see. So, but it's there, so I'm, I figure I just use it. No, I'm only joking. It doesn't really. But uh, <laughs> so anyway, Whitehaven, first yes. time here. Yes. First time at the festival. First time at the Home and Garden Show. So what have you what have you been doing? Uh, what what what's your what have you been telling us about today? Well, that was almost a sort of small minor part of today because yeah. I've been all over Whitehaven today. My chat was about trends and styles for 2014. Um, but I ended up chatting about Whitehaven quite a lot because it fitted into one of my trend predictions for 2014, <laughs> okay. which is laid-back opulence. That's handy. But don't you think that's kind of, not yeah. you, no, but oh, that's right, kind okay. of what Whitehaven is. It's yeah. got all this really lovely architecture, but it's a, but it's a bit, it's not tatty, no. so that would be rude, hmm. but it's kind of worn, yes. so it's like Laid-back opulence is like you've stumbled across this amazing chateau in France, and it's all a bit crumbly but lovely and beautiful, and you just want to slip like on me. a big dress. Crumbly, <laughs> crumbly, beautiful. No, no, no. Uh, and are you are you here tomorrow? Are you, are you? So what are you going to be talking about tomorrow? It's a bit of a sore point, but I, oh, right. I couldn't do tomorrow right. as well. And I know I'm really gutted now because tomorrow is going to be amazing. Yeah, it's I, going to be good. I wish I'd come for the last god knows how many years you've been going to this festival I can't believe it yeah. what a place to do it yeah. this harbour yeah. all the lovely little bits around the harbour the fish on the floor yeah. the knots yeah Cumbria's good Cumbria we have there's a lot to offer you see I tell you yeah, I'm it's, sold yes yeah, it's, it's a lot to offer it does help when the sun shines but it does it's a fantastic place it helps it everywhere when the sun place. shines but uh, places are lovely in the rain as well yeah. let's face it we're good at that in Britain okay so we all obviously we all recognise you from do you Sunny, well everybody just we all recognise everybody here recognises you from uh, television. What are you up to at the moment? Anything well, exciting? I had a midlife crisis six years ago and bought a wildlife park. Okay, that's a change. As okay. you do. Yeah. So I've been living in that for the last five years, um, in a little wooden house in the middle of it. Right. Okay. So when I say a wildlife park, we've got lemurs, meerkats, gibbons, rhinoceros. That's Zebra. pretty wild. That is pretty wild. And is is this just for yourself, or is this for people to? Well, this is where I got a bit enjoy. confused. That I thought it was just about us, and then I forgot that obviously to make it pay, you have to let people in. Okay. So and we ended up being a very enclosed animal within the wildlife park and a little wooden house with a huge fence around it and so I now live in a tiny cottage just close to it. And how do you decide what to feed a rhinoceros? Hay. Right, okay. Lots and lots, lots of, of hay lots and of some rhino nuts as well and they're white rhinos so they've got really big wide mouths like okay. this and if you want to kiss one which I would recommend oh it's like yeah. putting your face in a big it's, mushroom. It's probably not it's not up there on my list, but it's probably it's it's, it's there. Don't knock it. It's no, no. I'm not knocking it until I've tried it. It's just maybe not. not you'll quite. find you'll be at one with yeah. wildlife if you did it. Just go roar, roar, like that. Uh, first time you did it, was it quite frightening, or was it just no, too easy? No, I found myself drawn, drawn there because they are very rubbery. <laughs> okay. And they <laughs> almost like they haven't got teeth. I'm sure they must have some teeth in there, but yeah. they they're like cows. They just do that. And you, um, and it, Who would have thought I would be all well, I, at one with nature? Yeah, I kind of, yeah, I must admit, it's kind of never saw around. you in 
Yeah. Designer clothes, glam high door. heels, glam yeah. This is as glam as I got. I did you know. this for you, Whitehaven. Okay. I'll be back soon, yeah. stinking of poo, running around in my wellies, picking out rubbish. That's what I do. I, I, you know, I, I didn't think I would in the rain mac and wellies. It doesn't really fit the Anna Rock. No, I, honestly, I look like I live in a bush <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> I turned into Charlie Dimmer. <laughs> Not that you look like you live in a bush. Yeah, I wish. I look like that. <laughs> Very good for eating. So as we're talking, we <laughs> now, well now, now you've brought the subject that you uh, are you thinking is the is that it as far as the animals go? Or are you going to bring any other animals into the into the uh, you know? Are you bringing any more animals in? The next big animal we're going to do is. Are you ready? Okay, go on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> Stripes. Really? Yeah. Tigers. Good. Grief. I'm not really supposed to tell anybody that, but I can tell you. Okay. Well, I'm not going to tell anybody. No. I'm not going to tell anybody. Uh, does that not fill you with a certain amount of? No. That's the problem with me. I probably will go that way one day. I do you know what I'd like to do when my children don't need me anymore, and I'm not really allowed in the park very much at the moment because I'm no good in the cafe because my coffee's rubbish. I give everything away in the shop because I don't like the till and. So I just pick up rubbish and stuff like that. So when my children don't want me anymore, I'm going to go and live with the orangutans in Borneo because I'm half Malaysian and I've never been. And that's the only way I'm going to get an orangutan around my neck because they need that, the baby orphan ones. Okay. So I would go there, volunteer myself as a nanny, and then one day just go, and the orangutans can just bury me under leaves and that would be. What a fantastic way to go. I think that's lovely, yeah, don't I you? Yeah, I like the idea. I like the idea of that. Don't ask me how we got onto this. It's my idea. I'm no doing idea. it. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> are we like? Are we like? Are we going to see you on the uh, television box again, or are we? Or have you? No. Are, I'm gonna. I'm, that's that's you. You're quite happy with your animals, or I is am there a piece? Of, are you, is there a piece of you that actually thinks? Do you know what? I think if there was ever the correct vehicle for me, then maybe I would. But I think I think they couldn't really change you into that because we've moved on so much. Yeah. You know, it was perfect at the time, and I had a decade of being the rock and roll of emulsion. So <laughs> how am I going to top that? But no, I love my zoo and I love my new life, and I love coming to things like this. You know, at the end of the day, I'm never not going to be interested in fashion trends, sure. interiors. Um, but if you give me the choice as to whether I go and muck out a rhino or hang some wallpaper, I know I'm going to be. Excellent. Anna Ryder Richardson, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank you very, very much. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.